Guys, show me your best Omnitrix because we're having a Ben 10 Tuesday. Twin Sanity here. I collected so you don't have to. And man, we got all the Omni Enhanced figures. We got the full set. Hashtag full set. We got Heat Blast. Omni Enhanced with Omni Blast Jetpack. We got Omni Enhanced Diamond Hand with Omni Sword. Omni Enhanced Forearms. Omni Enhanced Overflow with Omni Blast Cannons. Omni Enhanced Cannon Bolt. Omni Enhanced XLR8. This is the full set so far. And this is your one stop video for unboxings because we're going to unbox them all in the same video. In this order, this is what it's kind of a default order based on the UPCs. If you see, this one ends in 16, this guy ends in 17, 18, 19, 21, and 22. Well, guys, where's number 20? 20 is the new villain to the line, Vilgax. We're going to open him in another video with the other three villains. Vilgax is the newest villain to the line, but as you know, he is Ben Tennyson's oldest villain in the series. But we're going to start with Heat Blast, so maybe I can just push these guys up a little bit. Heat Blast, get on down here. Something's up with the Omnitrix. The mysterious sparks of energy erupting from Ben's trusty watch. Take his alien transformations to the next level. When Ben transforms, the extra energy affects each of the aliens in his line up in a cool and unique way, giving Ben an Omni-enhanced upgraded powers and abilities. Omni-enhanced heat blast. Equipped with a massive jetpack made out of rock and flame, heat blast, heat blast Omni-enhanced wingspan gives him the abilities to rocket through the sky on a jet stream of fire. Man, could you imagine standing under that? You're going to be showered with... Hell from hell. Molten hailstones. This energized tech also creates an extra layer of armor, giving Heat Blast a ready-to-rumble look and added protection to match. I'm telling you what. The new Ben 10 show is, you know, it's a little bit weak. But the new figures, the figures from Playmates? All right. So Bandai had the Ben Bandai used at the time of Ben 10's first two to three incarnations. Bandai was the third largest toy company in the world, and but they handled all the early Ben 10s. The first Ben 10, the second one was uh, Alien, not Alien Force. What was the second one called? No, it was Alien Force. Then it was uh, I'm forgetting one. The one where they evolved. And then there was uh, Omniverse. You know what I'm saying. But anyway. The show. I do kind of like the show. But, you know, I've always been about the toys. And, the, and Playmates took over the line with this fifth incarnation. This fifth iteration of Ben 10. So long Bandai. And collectors were kind of like, oh, man, are they going to be able to do as good as Bandai? I had no doubts because they hold the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle line. So now, if you think if you think just about toy companies, Ben 10 is more aligned with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles than the Power Rangers. Interesting, huh? Well, I think it's interesting. But these figures, Playmates is knocking them out of the park. They have... Better art, way much better articulation. The uh, Bandai figures have this wonky one-way articulation. Look at the articulation on the sucker. Look at the quality plastic, quality paint. Like I'm saying, they just have like a a chunkier, more like a, like there's more poses you can put them in, so they look like they can take up more space. The Bandai figures could, see what I'm doing with his uh, waist and knees. The Bandai Benton figures never could have taken that on. But anyway, guys, there's friggin' Omni Blast, or they call them Omni Enhanced Heat Blast. Omni Enhanced Diamond Head. Massively strong crystal constructs plus powerful energy creates a massively strong 
Omni Enhancement. Diamond Head's Omni Enhanced Laser Cannon focuses and amplifies his light energy upgrade into a beam of pure power. He also has the ability to manifest sharper blades and stronger bludgeons. Plus, he's got an Omni Sword. Guys, it took me a while to find this set. So, the first figure I found was at a Target, and that was Cannonbolt. It's the only one I've ever seen at a Target. The second figure I found was at a Walgreens, and it was Forearms at a random Walgreens. And then I found uh, a, the next one, which I think was Heat Blast, at a Toys R Us. So one Target, wall, one Walgreens, one Toys R Us, and then I found the other three at a different Toys R Us at the same time. Four different stores to get these six figures. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at that freaking mohawk looking thing. Look, this, this is a type of paint app you almost never see. This speckled deco it wasn't on Heat Blast, but I know it's on at least another one. I think it's Cannonbolt. Look at these dudes. So his uh, Omni Sword is just going to go onto his hand. Guys, do you know if he's left handed or right handed? So he's going to be able to hold it like that. But we got Diamond Head, Heat Blast. Third one up is Forearms. This figure is heavy. This figure is nice. Give me that card back. He can lift heavy objects and his punches are packed with power, but when Forearms gets an upgrade in the form of Omni Enhanced Boxing Gloves, his strength goes for the charts. Rather, his strength goes off the charts. Crackling energy over his fists not only adds to his physical strength, but by clapping those gauntlets together or slamming them on the ground, he can also create a supersonic shockwave. Whew! <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, there's that paint deco I was talking about. Look at that interesting speckledness. So there's a lot of blue going down with this series. Blue, red, and then just the speckles of green. But look, his freaking top arms become... This is a very top-heavy figure. His top arms become doubled themselves. Look at that translucent plastic. This is one of the craziest figures I've seen in any toy line. I'm just going to see if I can... <laughs> wasn't too bad like I'm saying that is a top heavy figure there's a lot of heft a lot of mass to the forearms there loving that translucent blue so they're playing up blue more than green Ben 10 had always been about green like just really uh <laughs> I mean they kind of trademark green as far as toy lines next one up Omni Enhanced Overflow Water and electricity don't usually mix, but Omni Enhanced Overflow is the exception to the rule. With a pair of energized water cannons on his shoulders, this master of splash knows no equal. No matter how heated a battle gets, Omni Enhanced Overflow is equipped to cool things down in his upgraded state. Freaking Overflow. This guy used to be called Water Hazard. He's got, this probably goes upward. Oh, that is nice. Look, he's got this, the green speckled paint accent. He's got translucent blue here, 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 and here. Blue paint here, blue paint here. I'm loving the way they're using, it seems like a really good combo, this gray red trans blue and then speckled green and then where do these go he just he he's going to shoulders where's that picture 
Yeah, they go up here on ball joints. Are they identical? Okay, there is going to be a left versus right. And I think this would be here. Hang on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna need two hands to do that. Unbelievable. Well, I think it's halfway on. Probably should have clicked, right? Anyway, water hazard with his water barrels. And then we wanna talk about heft. We wanna talk about mass. We got Cannonbolt. Cannonbolt may be a smooth roller, but in his upgraded Omni Enhanced form, this ball-shaped alien becomes a total wrecking ball. He comes in like a wrecking ball. A set of energy spikes along his back and head gives Omni Enhanced Cannonbolt an even tougher outer shell. Thicker than tank treads, this enhancement makes it all easier for him to flatten anything that gets in his way. Okay. Well, you're creating more friction. I don't know how that's going to make anything easier. I just guess because he's so heavy. I mean, he's like, I can roll over you, or I can roll over you with spikes. <laughs> Your choice. Either way. Do you want to be flat, or do you want to be bloody and flat? Big end up. There we go. That's never coming back off. Man. Oh, the articulation. Bandai never did this. You never could have got this kind of uh, arm span. And the last one, Omni Enhanced XLR8. Already the fastest alien, XLR8 gets an Omni Enhanced boost in the form of tubo turbocharged energy kicks. These crackling discs form around his feet, propelling him to the brink of light speed. At this rate, Omni Enhanced XLR8 can break his own speed records almost as fast as he can set them. Woo! Who is faster, guys? XLR8 or The Flash? Or Superman? Look at this guy. <laughs> oh, he really rolls. He reminds me of the wheelies from Return to Oz. Dude, XL are right in the house. That has been a look at all six of the Omni Enhanced. Been 10 figures. You notice this checklist or uh, booklet, I should say, in these containers. See, they skew younger nowadays. There used to be a kid on the package that was about 10. That kid looks like he's 5. But anyway, the 10 inch giant figures, there's four of them. The deluxe Omnitrix 100 alien phrases. Omni launch battle figures. I will probably end up getting those. I. My thinking was I didn't pick them up when I first saw them because I thought they were going to do additional packs to supplement these like they did with every other Omnitrix. But there's one out with Cannonbolt, Heat Blast, Accelerate. There's one out with Diamond Head Forms and Wild Vine. And then there's no packs with additional figures. Uh, there's your cosplay. The power-up figures I don't collect. These things I don't collect unless there's an exclusive figure, so I might end up getting the vehicles because of the exclusive figures. And then this is the same basic checklist, so this does not feature Water Hazard, Omni Enhanced, or Accelerate Omni Enhanced. But it does have all the Wave 1 and Wave 2 that came out last year, plus the new villain added to the line, Vilgax. 
Guys, I'm Toy Insanity, and this has been, get it, Ben? This has been Ben 10 Tuesday. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for checking out this video. Please like, upvote, subscribe, comment. It does help. Guys, YouTube creators really appreciate it. It does mean a lot to us. But definitely, above all, I just thank you for clicking this video, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next Tuesday with some more Ben 10 merch.